Hi friends, here is a Kinter window. Here in this uh, window we are displaying 10 records taken from SQLite database and the, all the cells of this table are displayed using labels. We will learn how to do this. How we will create the tables with the data also around 30-35 uh, records are there. So visit this URL and scroll down and you will get it how to structure and all but go down here you can see there are two methods are there one if you are using SQL Alchemy then copy this one and if you are using SQLite 3 then copy this hardly there is any difference in the actual code but only thing that error handling and the connection string will change so once you have copied this just run that one this will create the data uh, that your database you can see here the path we have given here the path you in your case you can change that one then it will add some additional some around uh, uh, there are total 35 records are there and that will be inserted and your table is ready this is the blank template we'll be using. So at the first line, we are importing our SQL Alchemy. Then the next line, this is the path where our database is uh, stored. You can change in your case in different location. Third line, we are creating the connection string at the, here you can see that my connection that I'll be using in different, different, inside all our script, this connection will be using. Then the Kinter, here it is. And the geometry 400 by 250 you can change it whatever way you want now to this we'll add our code let's move up a bit here we'll start with first first write the record set now here equal to record set equal to my connection my connection is at the top we have declared the connection engine line number three my connection dot execute now execute means which query now I'll write the query select star from sorry uppercase I will say from student student is my table name where our sample data is there limit why I'm telling limit here because I just want starting from zero or the first record 10 records I don't want more because I have to accommodate I can move also limit for starting from 10 to another 10 record I can move it so I am just telling show me return me the 10 records starting from the first record so this is what it is record set now because I want to loop it and display so I will be creating a Mm, it's a very it's a incremental uh, i value this will keep on incrementing one row next row i value will be one zero one two three four like that i will continue so now this record set holds all my 10 records so uh, what i will do for student this is just a variable or row you can give in our set record set is at the line number nine now what I will do is now this every loop means a student each loop one record next loop another student record so one row of data will be taken out now that row also will have five columns in it because ID then name then class mark gender so each one will have further I can break it up so for that what I will say for another pointer I am taking J in range I don't know how many rows uh, will be there so I am just giving a range now I am saying len len means what is the number of len student because this student first row when it comes up first row the length I will find out anyway it will give the value as 5 only so for j in range 5 so it will stop at 0 2 5 means 0 1 2 3 4 the j value will take 0 1 2 3 4 like that it will take so now I will add the label so e it equal to tk dot label now I'll just move up a bit yeah label here it is then I will say my underscore w this is my parent window parent window I have declared it at uh, top line number seven you can see here I, it is declared so that I am using now slightly width I am giving width equal to 10 then fg foreground or the font color equal to blue then what should be the text this is the important part of it so what I will say first text equal to sorry blue I had to close the quote here now here I will say student student is my I am looping through here it is the first record is one student student then inside that J J will take the value 0 1 2 3 4 
so student 0 student 1 student 2 student 3 student 4 0 means it's the id then student 1 is the name and then it continue till 4 so the five columns will be displayed here okay let me just put a uh, anchor I, I can i'll go to the next line now i am saying anchor means where the alignment should be anchor equal to now let's give me w means waist left aligned if you want to change it make it e or the center aligned whatever way you want all the, all the details we have discussed in our label tutorial also that's all now i will place the e inside a grid e dot grid now this grid is important it will take one row so first i value will be 0 1 2 3 4 because up to 10 it will vary up to up to 9 so row equal to i then column will be equal to j because one first j value will be 0 then 1 then 2 3 4 so first one cell in a row row is constant i value will be constant now then column is incremented to 0 1 2 3 4 5 like that up to it will go up to 4 it will go so now outside this for loop i will increase the i i i can simple i'll write i i equal to i plus 1 so now i value is increased so inside this loop i will have a constant value because the row is constant row number for all the cells are constant and column value will increment 0 1 2 3 4 like that that's all so let's just save this and run and see how this looks here it is here is our all the data 10 records and up to 10 it is there now even if i can change this to let's say starting 0 up to 10 now let's say 10 to 20 20 10 to 19 let me go so another set of records i am picking up here it is okay 11 to 22 because in between some since 17 18 19 20 21 22 okay is 19 means starting from 10 okay for the 19 records sorry i missed here i did a mistake my intention was to get 10 records starting from 10 sorry start from 10 and get 10 records here it is so 11 to 20 i am getting so this is how you can pull the data from the uh, sqlite database and display just display it in a kinter window that's all friends slowly we'll move towards more on the sqlite and uh, if you have any doubt suggestion questions or anything on this particular script or any other script related to kinter python sqlite put it in the comment section below so we'll be working on it and i'll request you please press the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified as and when we post new new tutorials we frequently do that please share this with your friends and thank you for watching